This video is to show reasons why contractors use the Trimble Estimation Desktop Electrical Software. One of the primary reasons contractors use the Estimation Desktop Electrical Software is it can help speed up the takeoff with the connected digital takeoff. When a contractor wants to use the Estimation Desktop Electrical Software, he can pull in an electronic plan, a PDF, a TIFF file, a DWG, have it up on screen, review the document, identify what assemblies he may want to use. There's different menus of assemblies. He can then decide how he wants to count it using different symbols or different lines to measure or anything on the blueprint. And he starts counting. In this case, I'm just counting up some fixtures. You can choose whatever symbols and colors you wish to use to mark up the plan. And then he simply chooses the appropriate assembly off of the menu. In this case, it's a fixture. It'll let you create a fixture schedule to choose the appropriate description you wish to use, and then choose the appropriate labor to be used. In this case, labor for a 2x4 lay-in. It's going to give you the full assembly with everything that you require that quickly. Another reason that contractors use the software is that you can have more accuracy because of the pre-built detailed assemblies that are part of the software. With the detailed assemblies within the estimation electrical software, contractors are able to quickly measure off lengths. In this case, I'm going to measure off a feeder, but I'm also going to be using a detailed assembly. And what that means is when I measure these things off, it's automatically going to give me the appropriate quantity or length that is required, but also it's going to allow me to build the assembly on the fly. In this case, I need three inch EMT, it's entering in the quantity, but then it'll start asking you questions as far as the number of elbows that are required. It's going to ask you how you want to hang this. You can simply choose off of the list what is required for this job. In this case, I grab some unistrut, I grab some beam clamps. It's going to continue allowing you to pull as many items off of these lists as you, you require. And when it gets to the wire, I can simply choose what the wire size is I require enter in the, the number of conductors that are required, enter in any additional footage per conductor you might need, and then you can continue grabbing any additional wire you might need. If I need something to pull the wire, all I say is yes, and I can grab some, maybe in this case, some nylon line. I can put in some additional footage of that. Wire terminations I want, if I say yes, once again, it'll give me a list here. I can simply, in this case, just choose the labor off of the list choose whatever the size of the termination is, and then enter in the quantities that I require for that. It always lets you go back and get additional terminations as well. It's gonna let you get condolets and connectors. And again, it'll give you a list, pick what you need. It's gonna let you get your hole through the wall that's picking up the labor that is required. It's gonna let you get your conduit riser clamps, again, that's a detailed assembly. It's about helping you to basically walk through that assembly and build it appropriately for what is required for the job. The software also allows you to compare changes on addendum using our revision tool. With the revision tool, a contractor can compare an original document to an addendum. In this case, I have an original drawing up. Using that revision tool, I'm able to go out and grab an addendum. I can identify the different colors I want to distinguish the differences between the two documents, and then simply hit OK. It will overlay the plans on top of each other. It'll search to find the differences, and it will color code those differences. Black line is the same on both documents. Red line is showing you what was here on the original, but not on the addendum. Green line is showing you what's on the addendum, but not on the original. Contractors using the software also like the flexible reporting that is provided using the quick detailed material list that can be created within the software. With these reports, a contractor is quickly able to review the material list. It will give him the items, quantities, material pricing, labor units. It will also total the overall material and labor on the job for him. And if he broke the job up by system, by floor, by drawing, 
He will also be able to run reports that will give him specific detail to certain areas on the job. Also, when using the software, there are customizable bid summary reports that can help increase your accuracy from one bid to the next. The bid summary report allows the contractor to quickly see the total material on the job and total labor hours associated with the project pulled into the recap. He can apply any lump sum pricing he requires for fixtures or switch gear. He can apply sales tax or a labor rate for those hours, whether it be a flat rate or if he wanted to break it up between foreman, journeyman, and apprentice, he can. This is a checklist. It's all about bid day, making sure he's not missing anything, any of the direct job expenses associated with the project, subcontracts, as well as markup and overhead, whether he wants to use a flat markup or wants to use different percentages for the material, quoted items, labor, subcontracts, he's able to do so. It will allow him to apply profit, bonding, permits, even a cost per square foot to give him a sense of, hey, this, this job is where I think it should be. A couple of other facts about the Estimation Desktop Electrical software is that it can integrate with trade service Trade Service is a Trimble product that allows for easy price updating. And also, Trimble will provide professional implementation, training, and support to make sure you're successful with the software. To request a demo or learn more about Trimble MEP products, visit us at mep.trimble.com or find the right link for you in the description. Thanks for watching.